Welcome to episode three of Let's Talk Cows. We have a real special episode for you today. You get three NGG sire analysts and employees for the price of one. Today, you're gonna, we're going to hear from myself and CEO Dan Gilbert and U.S. sales and progeny specialist Lauren Hendel, as all three of us were out and about looking at cows across the country. So now we're going to start with CEO Dan Gilbert. Over to you, Dan. Thank you, Jake. Last week, I was able to visit four top farms in Northeast Iowa and Southeast Minnesota. I started at uh, Joe Lane Farm, the Shooties, and was able to see one of the few, if not only, pulled doughboy daughter in the United States. This yearling heifer is extremely correct, very open in her rib with proper slope to the rump. She is being flushed to our Jordy people in an effort to make one of the early homozygous polled offspring available in the U.S. Other doughboys that I was uh, happy to see was a doughboy granddaughter of no other than Pronto Twilight at Hilltop Acres. This young cow has a bright future with a beautiful welded on udder, especially the fore udder, long and tight and exceedingly correct throughout. Proper slope to the rump, great feet and legs and mobility, and a potential bull mother for the NGG program. Also at Hendel Farms, I was able to see an ultra fancy doughboy recently fresh. Again, very angular, open in the rib, and what a nice udder. This young cow also has a bright future and makes us very excited for this genomic Jim. But the group I really like to talk about is the Rainbow Sweet Silver Daughters. I was able to see 12 daughters in four different herds, and one was just like the other. Moderate in size, very good strength, and dairy combined with exceedingly strong udder attachments. You can really see the cadence coming through in the pedigree. I also really like the mobility on these young cows and especially everyone liked how they were beginning to work. At Hilltop Acres, they're milking eight, and they range from 83 pounds a day and up. One of the Silver Daughters was Silver Keegan, who passed with flying colors to be a potential bull dam in the NGG program. She and two others were out of Daredevil Daughters, and this really does look like a very nice, magical kind of cross. These young genomic gems, plus others that we are seeing around the country, make us very excited for the future of the NGG program in the Brown Swiss breed. So Lauren, let's talk about what you saw in Missouri. Thanks Dan. Last week I was able to travel to Southern Illinois and Missouri to visit a few farms. And while I was there, I saw lots of great heifers out of 54 BS 595 Trek. I've been really impressed with them so far and I'm looking forward to watching them continue to develop and calve in as time goes on. Trek comes from a great cow family at Cozy Nook Farms in Wisconsin and is part of our DPR stars lineup. This means that he's over one for DPR. He himself sits at 1.7 DPR currently, which is great for your herd's fertility. He's also available in our preferred sex semen and he sits at over 1,100 pounds of milk. We're really excited about this bull and look forward to watching these heifers from him develop and calve in. Thanks, Lauren. I also want to tell you about my trip this past week. First off, I got to go to a couple of our big crossbreeding herds. Right now, crossbreeding is something that we're hoping takes off. It's continually taking off, and I encourage any of you who have a mixed herd or a Holstein herd with just a few brown Swiss, if you need more milk, if you need more money, and milking the same amount of cows, talk to us. Crossbreeding with Brown Swiss. I have various herds I got to visit. They had some beautiful young calves. I even had my first herd that I started had some breeding age heifers. Crossbreeding with Brown Swiss, the way forward for your profitability and the world's profitability. I also do want to highlight, I've got to see some of the first daughters of Champions Collection Standout 54BS602 First Choice. 
this exciting Calvin son from Fantasy's family having his first daughters born here this spring. I got to see one while I was in Ohio, and I got to see a very special one you're going to view right now in a photo at Jennings Gap Dairy, Billy Joe Rhodes down in Virginia. This first choice March calf is out of a carter, and I think you will agree. Massive front end, long frame, straight lines, just a beautiful calf with style and potential written all over her. The other neat nugget of her, her Carter Dam is the grand dam of a very exciting type bull with a sky-high utter composite and tied for number one type being released from New Generation Genetics later this year. Look out for him. So thanks again for joining us for this special three-person episode of Let's Talk Cows.